Hi folks. If you're one of the pest control operators that have filled out one of the recent forms to enter our bed bug beta test, then you'll want to pay close attention. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go over the existing bed bug systems, the methodologies, and the weak points with each one, and then I'll give you a little overview of the highlights of what makes our system so very special. So first of all, about a year ago, um, I was asked by a large apartment building owner if my existing ozone equipment could be used to control bed bug infestations. He was concerned because he'd had multiple outbreaks and he didn't want to pay pest control operator the prices that it takes to get rid of the bed bugs. And he also had noticed that there was often a migration from unit to unit when he paid for a pest control operator, operator's treatment. And so I thought about the system for quite some time. Uh, I, re I researched ozone and insect killing with ozone and the times and volumes of ozone that would be needed. And I also ex uh, studied all of the existing systems that were out there for their weak points and or failure points so that I could create a solution that would work permanently and effectively every single time. And I'm no newcomer to this. I've designed better systems for the fields of basement waterproofing, uh, structural repair, and uh, in mold remediation, I've pioneered innovative and new techniques. So I was fairly certain I could come up with a, a real field-friendly system uh, that did work. And because of my background in mold remediation, I wanted to create a solution that would be environmentally friendly and effective. So, let's talk about the first four basic systems that are existing today. So, we're going to go over the existing systems. And then we'll talk about the associated problems that exist within those systems. The first system is pure chemical treatment. As every uh, pest control operator out there knows, chemical treatments are our first, typically, line of defense against uh, pests. The, there are three basic treatments. We've got the pyrethroids, we've got the growth inhibitors, and we've got some of the newer designer bed bug formulas that have been created. Unfortunately, the bed bugs have been developing a much thicker shell especially in the northern climates, our bed bugs are so pyrethroid resistant we're barely lucky if we can achieve a 50% kill and more often it's like 40 to 50%. So the problems are it takes multiple treatments. And the treatments are relatively ineffective. And there's something else that I'd like to broach here, which is not uh, very popular among pest control operators, and that is when you're applying a chemical into a lived-in home, especially a home where there might be small children, unless there are impact studies done on the actual long-term exposure to a buildup of the chemicals, while they may be safe in one application, some of these chemicals contain poisons that have an accumulative effect in the human body. So, uh, the chemical treatments are expensive to the contractor because he has to send his personnel out there two and three times. And they're offering a potential hazard to the occupants. And, of course, the most important thing, they're ineffective. So that led some new systems to come on. The second one that we're going to talk about is the dry steaming and vacuuming method. So dry steam and vacuum, followed up by pyrethrin application, typically, is one of the very mo more popular systems. And the companies that come in and offer this will go in with what they call dry steaming equipment. Now, 
I don't know how many of you have ever met dry water, but that's about uh, the equivalent of dry steam. There is no such thing as dry steam. By definition, all steam must come from water. And when they are able to extract that water back out, they are only able to remove somewhere between 90 and 95 percent, which leaves 5 to 10 percent of residual water. And when you put water on a household surface, you're going to create a good growth environment for microorganisms. So the dry steaming and vacuuming method involves the contractors going through and manually going over the mattresses, manually going over the furniture, and manually going over the areas with high pressure steam and a vacuum recapture uh, to get or extract some of that water back out. Now this folks does not work to really get all the bed bugs. And one of the problems with bed bugs has to do with their reproductive mechanisms. So uh, bed bugs have a relatively primitive reproductive mechanism and the bed, male bed bug has what is called a prick and when he pricks the female bed bug, he doesn't care where, is he, where he jabs it in her, she'll get pregnant. Well, more than one male will prick the female and one of the difficulties they had when they first started trying to grow these things in a laboratory is they would find all the females were dead. That's because they'd been literally pricked to death. Sounds a lot like college, but unfortunately, uh, what happens is to avoid that fate, the females, once they've been impregnated, will go away from the area of the colony and hide out. And so it's very difficult for the steamers to find all of the places where the eggs can hide. And so consequently, what these pest control operators frequently do is then follow up with three to five treatments of the chemical poisons, the pyrethoids, or the growth inhibitors, or some of the new designer uh, chemicals that have been introduced for the bed bugs. And of course the problem with that, as we've already discussed, is it takes more than one time to go out there and treat the project involving man hours, and it also uh, is relatively ineffective with about a 50% kill being the best we can report unless we're actually able to directly spray it on the back of the bug. And so the other distinct disadvantage is there's no such thing as dry water and so it always is a breeding ground for mold, microbes, and bacteria. And you can open yourself up to a secondary area of contamination by leaving behind too much water, which can encourage microbial growth. And by and large, it relies on the poisons. The third big system that has been developed, and all of these systems, these three systems after the pure chemical treatment, I call the gimmick systems. There's a gimmick factor that makes it look cool to the homeowner, and that makes it seem like it's a lot of work that should cost a lot of money, and in reality they rely on the chemical uh, aspect to control the real infestation. Uh, the third problem is the, or the third type of treating the problem is the heat systems. And the heat systems uh, function by funneling massive amounts of heated air into a building. The goal is to raise the temperature somewhere between 135 and 160 degrees over an extended period of time in order to bake the bed bugs out and kill their eggs. There are some big flaws with the heat system. Uh, one of the first problems is it causes damage. Um, in my research with many of my pest control operators we've talked with over the course of the last year, we found out that the heating system causes delamination of furniture. It causes damage to some of the uh, less expensive building uh, materials that are employed in today's modern construction. And it also uh, presents um, a fire risk. And 
The way I can guarantee that it presents a fire risk is just uh, last month in Cincinnati, Ohio, a PCO, a large PCO with businesses in both Columbus, Ohio and Cincinnati, Ohio, burned down a large apartment complex utilizing the heating system. But there are other problems uh, with the heating system. And one of these other problems, that's a, a, a flame, folks, if you can't tell. It's a, my bad drawing of a flame. So one of the other problems with this type of a system is not just that it poses a heating risk, or a, it, it's that you can't get the slab or any concrete portions of the structure up to that same 140 degrees. Often it's impossible to get the wall cavities in those systems up to 140 degrees, which is a similar problem with the steaming. You can't get the steam into the wall cavities. And these bed bugs lay their eggs in the nooks, the crannies, the crevices, and the cul-de-sacs away from that colony so that they are incapable of being gotten by the males and in, consequently incapable of being gotten by uh, chemicals, dry steam, and heat. And the last system uh, that we're going to talk about today is what I call the freezing technique, which is the cryogenic application of usually liquid nitrogen or some other uh, liquid that's been cooled to near absolute zero, or at least really, really cold, that will be applied by a wand. And a man, just like he does with a steamer, can mechanically go over and freeze the surfaces. Now, I'm not saying freezing won't kill bed bugs. As a matter of fact, freezing and steaming are both uh, similar uh, types of application. The cold uh, being applied to the surface will freeze the bug if you can get the bug. It will freeze the egg if you can get it on the egg. The difficulty is getting that cold directed liquid into the cracks, into the nooks, into the crannies, and into the crevices. So it's impossible to direct into the hidden places, just like steam. So the other problem with freezing is when you're putting an incredibly cold liquid on a warm surface surrounded by warm air, you're creating another issue, which is called dew point. And when that hot air mass meets that frozen cold surface, we are generating water. And water always encourages the growth of microbials like mold, mildews and bacteria, further leaving ourselves open to the possibility of lawsuits from secondary infestation caused by our treatments. And lastly, of course, it just doesn't work. It doesn't get into the area, so we're left with the chemical application that's about 50% effective. And that's because that chemical application needs to be done over and over and over again, three to five times on average, in order to be able to completely eliminate the problem. So that is what caused me to develop the OxyGreen Bed Bug Blaster system. What separates my invention from all of these other fraught with problem systems is the simple fact that my system was designed to use a gas. A gas made out of oxygen that is so powerful when put under that it can be used to put an entire structure under positive pressure. And positive pressure forces the gas out of the building envelope and into all the nooks and crannies and crevices and hidden places where the bed bug egg layers get to. And it kills viruses, it kills bacteria, it kills mold and fungi, and it will kill virtually all manner of insects when brought to intolerable limits for an extended period of time. We like to make our treatments last about three hours, and in that period of time we can virtually sanitize the entire house and kill all the living organisms that are within. 
Beyond that, we have a special essential oil-based inhibitor that will kill the eggs and the other hidden things that we may not have gotten with the original gas-based kill. Uh, the gas-based kill is virtually 100% effective, but by adding the essential oil component, we add a backup to our backup to our backup, and that's how I've designed all the systems I've ever created. I believe a built-in redundancy factor allows the system to be virtually perfect every time and to be the very best of the solutions that are available today. To understand more about the positive pressure and the other incredible aspects of this new technology, I encourage you to watch our other videos which will be de being delivered to you over the course of the next few days. Watch the videos, participate in our new upcoming webinar which you'll be informed of in your email box, and that will be all until next time. I look forward to encouraging you to change the way you think about killing pests. And in the process, I'll teach you how to make gobs of money with your new equipment. Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm uh, a maintenance supervisor at one of our properties here. We currently purchased one of the, one of the products that uh, Charles has. And um, what I like about the product, it's easy to use, simple to set up, no more than 10 to 15 minutes to set it up, and the product works. I am proof that it works because we've tried it on five apartments and so far we've got 100% effectiveness, uh, pretty much kills anything in the apartment and easy cleanup, uh, no chemicals, uh, the process is 100% green, um, I don't know what else to really say but uh, buy it and you'll like it, it's going to be worth the money. Thank you.